Hi everyone, it's Steffi if you don't already know and on this channel I just talk about all things careers and all things lifestyle and in today's video I am going to be researching two law firms because I did promise you if you followed me on my Instagram page I did say that I'm going to show you how I research law firms in real time by actually showing you how I'm going to research two firms that you have chosen. So I've popped up on screen all of the different options that came in based off of the submissions that you entered I am going to be showing you how I can research Clifford Chance, Linklaters and Fresh Frilled. So please do make sure that you have your notepad and pen if you're an aspiring lawyer and you want to know how to research these firms as well. If I didn't pick your firm please do not worry I promise you the way I'm going to do this is completely applicable to absolutely any firm that you want to research whether it's a commercial firm, a boutique firm, a niche firm, a national firm, a regional firm, whatever it doesn't matter you will be able to transfer this to whatever other firm you're interested in please do make sure that you like comment and subscribe if you like this type of content and do give me a follow on my instagram as well as i post some more tips and resources there i'm gonna start with fresh fields now i'm starting off with their linkedin page what I want to say here is that if you already know the firms that you want to apply for, there should already be something that you like about them. So the only reason I'm currently on the Freshfields LinkedIn page is because I don't really know that much about the firm, if I'm being honest. So I just wanted to have a quick look to see what they specialize in, what kind of stuff they put out there for themselves. And then I'll use that as the basis of my research. However, like I said, if you know that there's a particular firm that you like and you know that they're really proficient in, I don't know, disputes, arbitration, competition corporate like whatever it is that you already know that that firm is like really well proficient in then just go with that and you can start from the firm's website you won't need to start from linkedin so from a quick edit i can see they've got their most recent post was international arbitration fine what else have we got some cyber stuff what's this somebody got appointed as counsel okay cool more arbitration okay so i'm getting some kind of feeling antitrust okay so i'm getting the idea that like maybe disputes is something that Freshfields is known for so that's what I'm going to go with just for the purposes of doing this research fine so now I can go on to Freshfields website um in terms of if you don't know how to navigate to their website I literally just type in the name of the firm and graduate recruitment after it and I do this because nearly every firm will have like a, a student specific section of their website but sometimes it can be hard to find on their main website because obviously the main website is targeted towards clients remember the law firm is also a business um, and part of that business is getting in clients and retaining clients etc so it's not always easy to find the student section but if you just type in the name of your firm and graduate after it that normally comes up pretty easily so i'm on the graduate section of the website expect impact okay realize your potential cool i don't know why when i looked at the word expect i just maybe it's the font i wasn't expecting it to look like that i don't know but anyway cool who are fresh fields blah 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 blah, blah. fine so how am i actually going to do this research on notion i have so let me actually make the screen bigger so you can see i have a number of different things that i like to research so the awareness of a firm's presence statistical data on employees different practice areas i.e the type of work that the firm is known for salary and typical hours this has an asterisk next to it because i would always say research it because it helps you make your decision but this is not what we're talking about in our applications please guys we don't need to talk about how much they pay us they already tell us we know that's fine um strategies for growth company values and training opportunities so everything that's not got an asterisk next to it is what we're going to be looking for first of all on the firm's website and then if we can't find it on the website we can have a look at some supplementary resources like lex 500 chamber student legal cheek etc hopefully that all makes a bit of sense so let's start off with the awareness of the firm's presence so we've got who are we we've got a global network this is probably what's going to tell us a little bit about all of the different offices that freshfield might have so i'm going to have a look at that i'm going to accept all cookies because i can't be bothered to deal with that today i'm going to have a quick read through to see how freshfield's kind of business model is in terms of their network so here we've got stronger together where needed we complement our own lawyers comprehensive international experience with local advice from our stronger together network so this kind of sounds like they have a friendship network where they don't always have offices in every single country that they do work in but they do have strong connections with top law firms presumably in those countries and that is how they work out their international work now that's quite an important thing to know especially if you're asked a question like oh where should we open another office for example if you're going to interview at a firm whose strategy is not to have multiple offices in different jurisdictions and whose strategy is to in fact actually 
partner with top law firms in different jurisdictions, then you want to be very careful with how you're answering questions like that. So that's a good thing to know. We've also got 2,800 lawyers working in 150 plus countries and speaking 70 languages. So that's your key kind of bit of research information that you've got. And then you would distill it down, like I said, using just what we just spoke about, depending on the practice areas that you're interested in. So fine, if you were to come back to your tracker, you know, for fresh fields that you could literally just write down, we've got 2,800 lawyers. And to be honest, I don't think anyone's ever going to ask you, like, how many lawyers do we have? No one would expect you to know that. But it's just nice for your own knowledge to know the kind of size of the firm that it is that you're looking to apply for. Um, 150 plus countries and 70 languages that's interesting and that tells you that it's a truly global firm which is if that's what you're interested in then that's something that you might want to know and something that you might want to mention in your application especially if you are someone who is maybe well traveled you also speak a number of languages um that's something that you could get in there and kind of draw on that connection fine so next thing we wanted to look at are things like statistical data on employees my apologies this should actually also be asterisks as well because you probably wouldn't talk about this in your application but again for your own knowledge you are going to want to check those retention rate figures you want to know if you are getting a training contract at this particular firm what are the chances of you being kept on that is quite important but again it's not necessarily something that you need to include for the purposes of showing you how to research i'm more than happy to go through and show you where you would find it for fresh fields so let's have a look so this is where some of your secondary research would probably end up coming in so fresh fields retention rate i normally go with legal cheek just because legal cheek has never let me down thus far 80 percent plus results was that for a and o or was that for fresh fields Okay, so here we've got in 2021, Freshfields is set to retain 34 of its 42 NQ. So that's something that you would want to just know for your own knowledge. Um, and Legal Chic is a really good resource for this kind of information. They also actually normally collate things like salaries as well. But most law firms have it quite easy on the website to find salaries. So you shouldn't always have to look too far for that. So fine, we've looked at statistical data on employees. Now we've got practice areas. So for practice areas, we can have a look at an eight seat training contract. This is also tied into the training opportunities. Um, and the reason why I say I would say look here first before you just look at the main website and look at, look at the practice area kind of page, it's because not every practice area is always available for training in every firm. Um, so for the purposes of your application, you're gonna wanna write about practice areas that you'll actually be able to train in. Um, and here we've got within our eight seat training contract, you'd get a wide breadth of experience across many areas of law. And then it tells you, so you have to take at least one seat in dispute resolution. This is a big, big, big flag for me because it tells me that the firm likes dispute resolution. Otherwise, why would they make you do a seat there? And at least two seats in global transactions. So corporate finance, real estate. And then you can do other seats in antitrust, competition and trade, people and reward and tax. Here we have our practice areas that we're going to want to be talking about. These are the ones they've highlighted. These are the ones I would say speak about. If you have a particular preference for an area, so let's say you always felt like you wanted to do dispute resolution, fine. Maybe when it comes to the actual application, you can look for a deal or a news article or something along those lines, which links to dispute resolution. Or if there's a different practice area that you're particularly concerned about, you can do the same thing. Just insert that practice area. So that would then, if we were to go back to our little tracker, that would tick off practice areas. It would also tick off a little bit of training opportunities so we can come back and have a look at this in a little bit more detail when we get down there as well. Salary and typical hours. Now, you can get part of this from the website again, but you'll probably also get quite a bit of it from other third party resources like Legal Cheek or Chambers or just asking trainees themselves what they actually get. So they have a salary and benefits section on their website underneath what can I achieve. If you are to scroll down, it tells you you get 26 days paid holiday per year. You get the option of four weeks paid leave at the end of your training contract. The way they say the option probably means that it's only if you stay on at the firm, which of course makes sense. If you decide to leave the firm or you don't get offered a position, then you're not going to get the four weeks paid leave, right? Um, an option of a £2,000 interest-free loan when you join. Then you'll also know that you're getting 50k in your first year, 55 in your second year. That's pretty standard across the board for a lot of commercial firms at the moment. And you'll earn 100k if you decide to qualify there. So like I mentioned before, because it has an asterisk next to it in our tracker, that's not something that I would say mention in your application. 
but for your own personal knowledge be aware of what it is that you are likely going to be paid that's just something you might want to know strategies for growth so a lot of different firms will have five-year plans three-year plans ten-year plans and they will be vocal about these plans so how can you find this strategy for growth well okay so this is also available on the Freshfields website, although if you want to find it a little bit easier, I would say just go into Google and literally just type in Freshfield growth strategy. It will come up and it will redirect you back to the relevant page on the website. So that's a little cheat code way instead of having to navigate the whole website if you're unsure of how to do so. But in 2021, Freshfield has reported strong performance globally as it continues to deliver on strategy for growth. So we've got some figures for the financial year end. I would say there's no need to mention these figures in your application unless you feel like you're comfortable actually speaking about them. Most students aren't, but if you feel like you could, maybe because you've had some previous work experience or maybe you run a business yourself, so you do have an understanding of how these figures actually work, feel free to, to go ahead and talk about them. Looking at some of the performance highlights, I think it would be good to look at some of the deals, key deals that they mention. That would also tell you which practice areas they actually also care about. So if you are unsure of which practice area you maybe want to train in or practice in, but you just want to find out a little bit more, then definitely pay attention to some of the deals that they mention here. We've also got our lovely SPACs. Everyone knows we love talking about SPACs. So if you're not clued up on commercial awareness, then you should be for this particular firm. And we've also got some more information about our five-year environmental targets, which were set in 2016. So these targets ended in 2021, which means there are probably some new targets as well. But again, this is a talking point that you may want to prepare some questions for if you know you have networking events with Freshfields or if you wanted to already have some information about that and you want to write about in your application, then you've got all of your information right here. So that looks at strategies for growth. Again, you would record all of the information you find in your little table underneath. Then we have a look at company values. So for company values, where are we going to find that? I would go back to the graduate recruitment website. I would usually have a look at who are Freshfields, so what do we do? And under who are Freshfields, we can see we've got our R culture tab. So this is probably where we're gonna find some values. Okay, so we can see what it is that Freshfields say they care about the most. We've got their people. So you are the most important resource. So when you're drawing on your examples, you may want to look for examples where you are showing that you care about the human, you care about people. We've also got diversity and inclusion. Now, you don't have to talk about this if you don't want to, but if this is something that's important to you, Freshfields have said it's important to them too. So I would definitely say include that in your application. Pro bono, a lot of people do tend to ask me, can they speak about pro bono in applications? I would say yes, if it's something that the firm highlights themselves. Freshfield seems to highlight it, so I would say definitely feel comfortable talking about it too. And finally, training opportunities. So I mentioned at the beginning that we would touch back on the fact that Freshfields has an eight seat training contract. Now, this is because a number of law firms tend to have a four seat training contract, each seat being six months. Now, Freshfields is slightly different. Each seat is three months. That's a key thing that I would say definitely mention because it's one way that Freshfield stands out from its competitors, for example. You will have the opportunity to sit in more practice areas than you would in a different firm. Other things that you may want to talk about as well are also going to be on your first home page. So here we've got the three areas that you're likely going to deal with across the course of your training contract if you were to get it. Grow, transactional, strengthen, regulatory, defend, risk and disputes. Again here, I would probably talk about the varied nature of the training contract, which is again, of course, tied into the fact that you're going to be doing eight seats. You're likely going to touch on a practice area in each and every single one of these areas because there is just so much variety. So that is how I would do my first initial part of the research for Freshfields in particular. The final thing that I would do is then click on the how do I apply page just to make sure that I have an understanding of how the application process works. Here you can see that there is some more advice on what they actually look for in the application and interview process so I would definitely say check that out and you can see that there are also some workshops, a vacation scheme or a training contract that you can have a look at the different tabs there to see what it is that you would want to apply for. Now if I'm to click on preparing for our application process and scroll down you can see that there seems to be different application processes for each thing that you'd be applying for that's fine depending on what it is that you're interested in have a look at the one that's relevant to you. If we look at the application form, we can see that for both the training contract and the vacation scheme, your first application form is an application form and personal statement of up to 850 words all about you. 
sounds like a cover letter but it's not the wording that they have used so do make sure that this is as they have said a personal statement i.e it's written in first person it does still have a relevant structure but it's all about what skills you can bring and what skills you are hoping to gain from the training contract in the form that it is in at Freshfields. As they said down below, it's for you to say why you're interested in commercial law, why specifically you're applying to Freshfields and why you're a great candidate. So for your why law section, I'm not really gonna go into that too much in this video, but for your why you're applying to Freshfields section, this is where all your amazing research comes in because you now know that you can talk about maybe the awareness of the firm's presence, i.e. you know that Freshfields is present in over 150 countries and you know that they speak over 70 languages. And as someone who's an avid traveler, this is something that appeals to your nature and it's something that you would love to learn and thrive in an environment like that. You also know about the practice areas that Freshfields specializes in. You know that you've always had an interest in disputes and Freshfields is well known for their disputes. You read a recent article about the international arbitration and this is something that you're really, really interested in. You also know that Freshfields has company values that align with your own. You know through your learned experience and the opportunities that you know will be presented to you through the training at Freshfields that this would be a great fit for you. So you can see how I've picked just a number of the research options that we've just gone through to answer why specifically you're applying to Freshfields. Then of course, why are you a great candidate? Well, that will be woven throughout your whole answer, but I would definitely say make sure that you end off your personal statement by putting a paragraph, maybe a paragraph and a half, of what key skills you have and how you have gained them and how you are hoping to develop them during the course of your training contract. So now that we've done that with Freshfields and we've gone through that in a bit of detail, let's have a look at Linklaters and Clifford Chance. Now I'm gonna do it slightly quicker with these two companies because it is just the same process each and every time. But because I did say I will do two or three different companies, I am gonna go through with that today. So for Linklaters, if we start from the top again, the awareness of the firm's presence, how are we going to find out where the Linklaters offices are and what kind of strategy it has towards its international work? Well, if we have a look at the homepage again, we'll have a look at early careers. So this is just going to be our equivalent of graduates. We're going to have a look at who we are and we're going to see what comes up. 183 year history. That's something that I would note down just for your own knowledge. We've got the strategy there already. So remember, we do have a section in our research where we look at strategies for growth. It's good to see that the strategy is already there on the homepage for us. So I would note that down in our research, along with our future as well, our link later's way. Now this looks a lot like their values and it tells us here that these are their five values. So again, we've already got the company values. Make sure that whatever work experience you are going to use to weave into your answer, you are looking at these values, i.e. you're showing that you're someone who strives for excellence, you're showing that you're someone who respects, you're showing that you're someone who's a leader, you're showing that you act with integrity, you're showing that you're good with teamwork. That doesn't mean you need to have five examples, you could have one example that demonstrates all five. Just make sure that these are the values that you're highlighting because these are the values that Linklaters are saying are important to them. So if we have a look on the main Linklaters website, and if you remember from the beginning, I said if you're having a look on the website and you're not sure where to find anything, literally just Google what you're looking for, i.e. Google Linklaters number of offices. It will always redirect you back to the relevant page on the website, so that is completely fine. So we've got that Linklaters have 31 offices, multi-jurisdictional projects and transactions across the world. And then we can see underneath where all of the different offices are. So that's quite interesting to know. And again, like I said, with Freshfields, if traveling is something that's important to you, if a global mindset is something that's important to you, then you could definitely bring that into your application when you're looking at why exactly it is that you've decided to apply to Linklaters rather than anywhere else. Statistical data on employees, same as what we said before, we'd be having a look at legal cheek. So once again, I would literally just go into Google and I would type in link later's retention rate i would look for the legal cheek article because i know legal cheek always does it and they kept 47 out of 50 nqs now that's quite a high retention rate so that's a good thing for you to know again then i would go back to practice areas we already had a look at but we can have a bit of a deeper look if you missed it before so if you go to early careers and you go to our work you would scroll down and you would see all of the different practice areas that they like to speak about. So we've got corporate first of all, and the different headings underneath corporate. Now this is quite important because there are a number of people who say things like, oh, I want to be a corporate lawyer. Now that's all fine and well. At Linklaters, they've clearly got mergers and acquisitions, private equity, 
antitrust and foreign investment group, employment and incentives, etc, etc, etc. All of these headings fall under corporate. So do just be careful by just saying something blanket like corporate because it encompasses all of these things. And if someone decides to pick you up on it at interview, they might ask you which aspects of corporate are you interested in? And you'd be expected to know that these are the areas that Linklaters do cover. So do just be aware of that. We've also got dispute resolution, We've got finance. Again, finance similar to corporate is also split up into a number of different areas. We've got capital markets, we've got banking, we've got financial regulation, different things there. So do make sure that you're aware of the subtle kind of sub areas within each broader practice area. Strategies for growth, we had a look at that in the beginning on the home page and training opportunities. So for training opportunities, I would go on early careers and your career and I'd have a look. Oh, we can see here that they've actually got a video. So I would definitely say do have a watch of that video. It's only six minutes, so it's not that long. So have a look there. And another thing that Linklaters does, which I think is quite nice, it also gives you a more forward projection of what your career could look like. So you can see what you'd be like as an associate, as a managing associate, as counsel and partner, and even beyond. So that's actually quite an interesting thing that I would definitely say take a look at. And if you wanted to have a look at something like the ongoing training, then that is definitely something that you could mention in your application. So just like we did with Freshfields, the final thing that you would do is then go and have a look at what the actual application is. So you can see here we've got how to apply. There's an agile mindset framework. I would definitely say familiarize yourself with this. And then we'd have a look at what is the actual application. So there's an online form, a 30 minute form, and then there's an assessment and there's a Watson Glazer. Now, if you are having some issues with the Watson Glazer, please do remember that one of the free resources that I provide is a guide to commercial law for aspiring applicants. And within that guide is a lot of Watson Glazer support for free. So if you need that, please do make sure that you click on the link down below, head to my website and sign up to my mailing list so you can have some support with that. There is also a video on here that you can have a look at, which would of course be helpful. And you can also look at the example test on the Pearson website, which is linked on Linklaters as well. And if there are any frequently asked questions that you may think have not been answered, have a look down here. And of course, also feel free to just email graduate recruitment if you need to. But I would say use that as your last resort. Please do make sure that you do your own research first and don't just email because you can't be bothered to look for things. And the final company that we're going to be looking at is Clifford Chance because Clifford Chance and Linklaters were actually tied. So that's why I've decided to look at three. So once again, we would do the exact same thing. We would go through all of the different areas of research. We would note it down in our table down below and then we'd get cracking with our application. So for Clifford Chance, what is their global presence like and how can we find that? So if you go on to Why Clifford Chance and you have a look at our global reach, you can see here it's a Trouble Global firm. There's a video for you to watch. Again, I would say definitely do watch it. And then we can have a look at people and places. This is probably what's going to tell us something about the different locations. You by no means need to know every single location. That is not a requirement at all. But you could, for example, make a blanket statement to say something like they're across all the continents because they do have an office in Africa, in the Americas, in Asia Pacific, in Europe and in the Middle East. So that's something that you might want to say. It's a truly global firm. Then we've got statistical data on employees. Once again, like we said before, we would be using legal cheek. So we would just type in on Google Clifford Chance retention rate. Look for the legal cheek article. And we've got 70% and 82%. So from a qualifying cohort of 53, Clifford Chance confirmed 37 were staying on. Now, one thing to kind of make a note of for firms like Clifford Chance, they do provide a considerably higher number of training contracts each year. So they provide around 95 training contracts. I say this because Magic Circle firms do tend to have slightly lower retention rates in comparison to some other firms but it is also important to check how many trainees do they actually take on because obviously if the pool of trainees is larger then you may find that the number of people accepting roles is going to be smaller that's just something to bear in mind again like i said before you probably wouldn't be putting this in your application anyway it's just for your own knowledge for you to decide whether you want to apply there or not practice areas so we'd go back to our graduate recruitment site we'd scroll all the way up and we'd have a look at. So for practice areas, we'd go to why Clifford Chance, we'd go to our firm, 
have a look at services and sectors let's just have a quick scroll down to see if there's anything else we do actually already see so if we scroll down we can see we've got corporate we can see we've got litigation and dispute resolution we can see we've got real estate tax pensions employment and incentives antitrust tech esg so these are more focus areas as opposed to practice areas fine so you could just have a look on this main page if you know you have a specific interest and i would definitely say again like i said before with freshfields have a look for a deal have a look for a news article to try and demonstrate that particular interest that you know that you have salary and typical hours best place to probably find this is under what we offer and just go and have a look at the training contract because they normally advertise what the salary is there so as you can see we've got a salary and benefits option we've got first year trainee 50,000 second year trainee 55 NQs 107,000 so that's something for you to know and there's also some additional benefits as well so if you're interested in knowing a bit more about Clifford Chance growth strategy I just typed in Clifford Chance growth strategy on Google and it's diverted me back to the relevant page on the website. So we've got our vision is to be the global law firm of choice for leading business of today and tomorrow. That's quite interesting. So we've got four key things that we're looking at. We're looking at the right markets. We're looking at the right work for the right clients. We're looking at innovation and best delivery and the best team. So I think if you feel comfortable with speaking about these things, then please do. If, however, you maybe want to ask more questions about this, and I think that's probably a better way to go about talking about a firm strategy and showing that you have done your research. If you are invited to interview, this is a really good time to say, I was having a look at the firm strategy and I saw X. I was wondering what practical steps are you taking within your department to implement this strategy? Something like that. That's a really good way to get it in because no one's expecting you to have an understanding of the strategy. After all, you are not a director of Clifford Chance nobody expects you to be but you are showing that you have done your research and you do understand the importance of the strategy in the growth of the firm final thing to look at are your company values and your training opportunities okay so if we go back to our clifford chance main website and we have a look at about us we can see here some company values so putting clients first creating the best team giving practical advice nurturing a culture with integrity and respect and investing in the future so once again i would say that whatever examples you are using in your application definitely try and give examples of you putting clients first if you have work experience of that nature even if it's volunteering you putting the person that you're servicing first you working well in a team you being able to give advice whether that's of an academic nature or whether that's within your work make sure that you're demonstrating the values that clifford chance have highlighted and finally, for training opportunities, I would have a look at the section called Grow With Us. We can see here, so we commit to investing in you from the very start to build the best foundation for your future. So we can have a look at things like seat allocation, see how that would work. We can see that we've got career development meetings. So this is, again, something that might be of interest to you, the way that feedback is given. Again, this could be a question that you could ask in interview, but it could also be a point that you write about in your application if the opportunity does arise resilience training and support so again here i would say that resilience is a key word you want to be looking out for and you want to be demonstrating that you have that client and international secondments this is definitely something you should be interested in and qualification what exactly is the qualification process what is it that you could do now i know that was a little bit of a whistle stop tour between three amazing law firms i do hope that that tracker on notion and just going through each of the different websites kind of gives you a bit of a flavor and a feel for how you should be trying to research law firms and the key things that you should be focusing on you don't necessarily need to be spending 10 hours reading every single word on a website because that's not necessary have the key areas that you're interested in so for example the growth of the firm the number of trainees it takes how many offices or where the offices are in different areas if you're interested in international work the type of work that's available at the firm the type of training that's available have your key areas that you're looking for know how to navigate to find those key areas on the website or on reputable third-party websites as well have a sensible tracking system so that you can make a note of all of the things you find and then you'll be able to put that into your application and get to drafting with that so that is how i would personally research firms that i would be interested in applying for if you have found this video helpful please do make sure that you like comment and subscribe and share it with at least one other person who you think will find it helpful too 
do also make sure that you give me a follow on Instagram. And if you're interested in how I would go about setting out all of my research, I do have a Notion template. So if you're interested in that, definitely comment down below and I'll see what I can do about getting that out to you as well.